With just two weeks to go until Election Day, former President Donald Trump campaigned for the Latino vote in Florida this morning before holding a rally in North Carolina tonight. Meanwhile, Vice President Kamala Harris is back in Washington, focused on some taped media interviews. Natalie Brand brings us the latest in the race for the White House. There's something about that border that's just really... Really evil. Former President Donald Trump focused on his signature issue, immigration policy, at a roundtable with Latino voters in South Florida. The only thing I, I would disagree with you on is that uh, the economy is very important. I actually think that the biggest thing is the border. It's Trump's second event with Latino voters in a week, one of the fastest growing groups of the electorate. He criticized Vice President Kamala Harris for not holding campaign events Tuesday, two weeks from Election Day. It's going to be close. I mean, she's sleeping right now. She couldn't go on the trail. You know, you think when you have 14 days left, you wouldn't be sleeping. She's not doing anything today. Vice President Harris is back here in Washington taping two interviews before returning to Battleground Pennsylvania Wednesday for a town hall. If you haven't voted yet, I won't be offended if you just walk out right now. Go vote. Former President Barack Obama is out mobilizing support for her alongside her running mate, Governor Tim Walz in Madison, Wisconsin. This thing's close. We're still the underdogs in this, and we know we're going to leave it all on the field. Wisconsin, you got same-day voter registration, and it's open today. It's the first day of early voting in the battleground state where polling shows the race a virtual tie. Oh, we're really <laughs> we love voting. Many states are reporting record early voting numbers with more than 19 million ballots already cast nationwide. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, the White House.